With Sonic and Shadow Generations dropping tomorrow, that's if you're not broke. I decided to go trip down memory lane and revisit some very well-known love mods in this game because the mod community for this game is very huge and decided to go have a bang. Let's do it. So I'm gonna go for five stages here. So the first one here is Chivalry Mountainsides and this is probably the best level mod in this game personally. It's just like everything I want in a Sonic stage. Multiple pathways, alternate routes to get to the goal ring and just a decent length. Okay, I'm actually like messing up right here. And watch some juice, that's great. This is like pr pretty much the best 3D Sonic of all time, basically. That's if it's not official. But over here, you you right here, Snape. But you see right here, um, snowboarding right here, pretty cool. You go from like snowboarding to like, and also it's very, very. And I missed the jump. Wow. Not to mention it's fully 3D, so no 2D here, which. Kind of a blessing though, I mean, I don't mind 2D, that's if it's actually good 2D. Like, Unleashed Generations has some pretty good like, 2D sections, but personally, Colors is good, if it's good, but like, most of the time, like, Colors as well design is very blocky. Forces, we don't talk about Forces, and then Frontiers controls like trash in 2D, even though I really enjoy Frontiers, I gotta say that. the. Sorry, space controls in Frontiers are not good, and they're way worse in 2D sections, to be honest with you. And it's crazy, like, we're already less than, like, 24 hours away from this, like, Sonic S Shadow Generations dropping, because, like, it's been, like, it was announced, like, at the beginning of the year, and then, like, we're pretty much, like, at the end of the year, almost at the end of the year, and we're getting the game right now, like, what a massive, like, insane, like, hype right here. Like, I mean, Sonic Frontiers, you know, had, like, a year and a half worth of hype. I mean, when we saw more of the game, the more we, uh, got looking forward to it, basically. But Shadow, like, all the good work Sonic has is back. And Sonic is basically back in the mainstream again, thanks to the movies. And this game just looks, like, really dang good. I'm looking forward to Shadow Generations. Like, personally, it's more... It just looks more polished than Frontiers, and... Might be better than Frontiers, honestly. And, did you know, I actually do enjoy Sonic Frontiers. I bet all the Sonic Frontiers talks. Just, I mean, like, the game is great. It's just, the game lacks polish. That's, like, one thing that holds it back a lot. And also, the last half of the game was pretty underwhelming. But even then, I can kind of understand it a bit, because... They were pretty much like out of budget at the time, and like the team for Frontiers was pretty small, so it made sense. Okay, there you go. Nice. See this right here? Like, bro, you're going like you're snowboarding, and then you're onto like a little like village. I think they call it village, and then you're under inside a cave, which is really damn cool. And like so much mobile pathways. I know I'm saying like so many times. I mean, I've seen that in my comments so much. Oh shoot, oh shoot, tough. Second pathway over here, I actually wanna go here. This is actually really dope. Okay, and I don't know how to get to the higher part with the um the hoop. I don't know. It's been a minute since I last played this age. I mean, last time I played it was like when it dropped back in 2021. So basically been a long time over here. Pretty risky shortcut right there, but look at that. Very, very cool. And the fact that it's fully 3D2 is impressive. And like a lot of the gameplay we saw from Shadow Generations, like it looks like most stages are, you know, gonna be fully 3D, which is actually pretty cool. I mean, Forces had a fully 3D stage for a minute, which we don't talk about, because that stage is literally one of the biggest lies in the Sonic franchise by far, on top of the saying the Forces team is from the same people that made Sonic Colors and Generations. Remember that? That was crazy. Going from my like, forces and then back to like frontiers where like, the franchise is actually now back in a better state is very impressive. And looking forward to what happens next after uh generations, whether it's like a spin-off or like we get Frontiers 2, which I don't think it's gonna be till like 2026, 2027, probably. Probably 2027, because like they always release a anniversary game like the year after the anniversary, so we'll see. Another favorite of mine is Water powers, and this is like a pretty. There's like a pretty old mod too. I forgot when it came out, but like it was definitely before 2020. I think it was after before Forces dropped. I think. But 
this stage is actually amazing. Like, it takes a Sonic Rush stage, which, like, that game is, like, fully 2D, and then fully, like, built up from the ground up to be 3D, and it's really, really impressive. Like, I've seen it, like, so many times. You love to see it. There we go. Okay, cool. Got the shortcut. But it's, like, so much, so much rife into this. It's so, so cool. And have no juice here. I'm gonna go over here. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go over here. This is a pretty good shortcut right here. It's a pretty short stage, though, but it's really worth it. Very close to the end, I think. Ah, uh, maybe? Nah, it's not the end. Yeah, it's not the end. Remember, pray now. I mean, it's been admitted, so this is like. That would be like Sonic Forces length if that was actually admitted long. Right here. Actually, um, someone made a Sonic Rush physics mod recently, which. But you do the tricks mid-air, tricks throwing springs, and then doing tricks everywhere. It's like very cool. And then, yeah, it's a very cool mod. I don't know what else it does next, but I probably increase the speed a bit because, you know, Sonic Rush is like a pretty fast game. But we should use it here, but it is good what it is. There we go. Now, this stage right here is Crash Cove, and nothing too crazy here, but it's still a really good mod. I think uh, it's actually like the more underrated level mods in this game because you don't see people talk about this much when it comes to like generations of mods they always say like, talk about like water palace or shivery mountainsides or like the unleashed project and they many other stuff too you don't see this one talk about much it's a pretty good original stage basically this reminds me so much of the what's it called the frontier stage that um a fleet stage that was actually really really cool i did it like months ago and that stage is fire really peak stage right here but this is like pretty good too I mean, what reason i got reminded though is because of the like ships being down even though you're not like on the ships in the sea you're like still like the ships are there basically it's, it's so cool and we're close to the end too basically Alrighty, over here look at that so so good like a lot of these other mods are like very talented props to the generations modding team i'm pretty curious to see what the modding scene is going to be for sonic and shadow generations because like it's basically a shadow game with a generations remaster on top of it too like are they gonna like convert all the like generations mods to sonic and shadow generations or like they're gonna like probably like make some new ones and also like, there's like a lot of mods Four generations are like made by by people that like aren't even the modding scene anymore. Okay, what? Yeah, there's a lot of like modders in the modding community. Like, there's so many mods in this game made by people that aren't even in the modding community anymore. So, pretty curious. I mean, some of them probably get that through like get the, like the files here and what's it called? Be able to get the mods working here. But I'll see though, cause like. They did change some stuff up for generations in the remaster because drop dash and like the child rescue and like supposedly uh they're gonna rewrite the story too i don't know how true that it is i mean i haven't seen anything uh about the game yet so i mean wait until it comes out so we'll see oh 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 i don't ever recall going to that path at all the first time actually and i actually like literally dodged that first time like quick reaction but i'm so glad Generations is finally getting remastered as it deserves because like that game was really locked behind like PS3 360 jail for a pretty long time and it's fine like I'm so glad it's finally getting released on modern platforms which is deserved because everyone get to play this amazing game wait did the game crashed the game probably crashed moving on and we are back in a snow theme stage known as frozen hill not to be confused with the one in lost world is it recall frozen hill i don't know that game is trash i want to talk about it anyways this is another original snow theme stage and it's pretty cool like it's all like two snow themes i think like another one too but like that's like outdated like really outdated I remember kobe did that i think it was uh but yeah it was like that was like a very i didn't see that i didn't see that was a freaking um trip thing right there but it's so cool. I okay wish there were like a bit more level mods, like original level mods. I mean, there's like a lot of original like level mods for this game. But it'd be cool to like, see like more snow stages. I was, I mean, I generally wonder like, what is like the state of Generations mod is gonna be like since Sonic and Shadow Generations is gonna be uh, coming. 
like literally like less than 24 hours like i mean since you can still buy the game through uh the steam bundle i mean the game's not delisted but like there's still like a way to you know play the game thanks to the good old steam bundle and also good with steam too is that you uh if you get a game already in that bundle you actually get a discount which is actually pretty dope so i'm very w and like part of it reminds me of, um, of like and part of the stage reminds me a lot of unleash probably because the music that's probably why I think about it too. But it's like few so like Green Hill aesthetic in a way. Once again, it reminds me a bit of like Lost World. I didn't see that there. It's just so cool in the 2D section right here. I genuinely wonder like what is like like Shadow Generations mod gonna be like, cause I feel like it's gonna be at like the same like as par as Generations. Like Shadow Portion basically. I mean Shadow like it could be pretty easy to like port mods over to generations in Sonic S Shadow Generations. Most likely. We shall see. But I'll probably like still go back. Like we still go go back to OG generations. Because like there's gonna be a lot of mods that uh like we won't be out until like they get uh released. If it's actually possible to like port old mods in. Look at that, like, look at that, like, two minutes, like, almost three minutes long, like, it's so cool, like, I'm, like, judging from Shadow Generations gameplay, like, it's so cool seeing, like, pretty long stages, and look at that, we hit it right at three minutes, and they always say, if you do water powers, you gotta do Splash Hill Zone, no one said that, I just gotta say that, but here's Splash Hill Zone, and they took a pretty mediocre stage, I mean, it's literally Green Hill Zone, I mean, it's, like, literally Green Hill Zone again, except way, way worse, because garbage physics, and garbage everything but it took like a pretty mediocre sage into a pretty go to sage actually and there's like another like old old mod that dropped you know most of the stages are like, kind of like a bit a little empty like the wide areas but even then like it's still a very solid sage regardless it is a t-wopes version of a uh, splash hill zone i noticed the uh the t-wopes instruments for a second right there oh my god yeah there's no gargoyles too so it's easy to fall off look at that so dope and we'll be in the stage here i mean not that long of a stage anyways it's a pretty short stage but it's still pretty fun but yeah i can't wait to play shadow tomorrow but anyways catch y'all later